Alright guys, so we decided to do a tut series. Sorry we haven't uploaded in a while. I've been having a lot of trouble with my internet. Wouldn't it be pronounced toot? Tut? No, it's tut. Toot? Tutorial. You're... Tutorial. Okay, no. so let's make a tutorial video. Uh, t tutorial. Tut. Tutorial. It's a tut. I'm not going to sit here and argue this for five minutes. It's a tut. Do you want tut some white stuff going on you? Kid, do you want to have a snowball fight? Because I don't have any snowballs. Go get some snowballs. One of me, mate. No items. Final destination. Hey, mate. Get hey. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, get rid of snow. Oh, perfect. All right. So today we're doing fission reactors. Get out of here, mate. Ooh. Look at these snowballs. All right. So first, all right. Here's the supplies you're gonna need. Now, this is an automated fission reactor, by the way. So you will not have to load any fish oil rods in this ever. All you have to do is put them in the me. You'll need... Alright, not this. You won't need one of these. It's for the end of the video. Alright, you're going to need a me controller. A me drive. A me terminal. Some me cables. Some uni cables. Reactor turbines. A thermometer. St some steam funnels. You can have dirt. Alright, I'm actually going to be using stone in this video. A sticky piston, a control rod, some fissile rods, obviously, a fission reactor, a me precision export bus, configurator, ultimate energy cube, some sort of me storage device. Uh, you'll probably need a wrench or something like that. I don't know. The names for these items will be down in the description. Will they? Yeah, sure. They should be. Alright, we'll do that then. Hey Connor, so, go grab me some redstone. We're also gonna need about a stack of redstone. Oh, okay. Alright. So what you see, I told you you'd be useful in this video. Alright, first you're gonna wanna build a I don't want to build this directly on the snow, so I'm gonna cover this up. First you're gonna wanna build a three by three by two area to put your fission reactor in. Any uh pretty much any three by three by two area will do. As long as, all right. Also, do not place it near valuables, just in case you mess it up and it goes nuclear. Which going nuclear destroys maybe a 10 by 10 block radius. You want to place the fission reactor directly in the center. You're gonna want to slash TP accept. I just throw it on me. All right. You're gonna wanna. Oh, Connor! I forgot water. No. <laughs> throw me the redstone and go grab two buckets, please. Oh my god. Alright, you're also going to need about two buckets of water. Anything else? No. So unprofessional. Aren't I? This is our f first tut video, guys. Can't blame me. You can, but I'd ask you please not to. Alright, you're going to fill this entire thing up with water. I don't know all of our, all of our buckets. We, all our buckets are full, aren't they? Yeah, with random poop. <laughs> oh, we actually have 16 buckets of sewage. Just bring me a couple sewage buckets. There's water. There's water here. All right, let's set up the next step then. Uh, yeah. Diagonal to the to the fission <laughs> reactor, you're gonna want to put your thermometer. You can go ahead and leave it at 2,000 because that's. You're so you're so dumb. Even my computer has done a few. Ooh, my Minecraft. Oh, you is crashed. crashed. <laughs> Maybe it's just because you don't have a good computer. Ooh. Hey. Yeah, you're gonna go ahead and leave this at 2,000. I five's okay. You gotta, I, oh, and you, you gotta loop this around. Uh, yeah, this will work. It, it looks sketchy now, but it'll work. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Cause without this, you're gonna be putting a stone block right here. Yeah, actually, you can just go ahead and cover this entire thing up with stone now. Slash TP accept. Okay, so look. Look. Well, I was gone. I was promoted to trial mod. All right, Trial. you're dumb. dumb. Just kidding, I love you all. Ooh. Oh wait. All right. So you're gonna want to build it like this. Ooh. Not one right here. Oh my bad. So. You so you're gonna make sure all the redstone's connected. Put it like this, and put your sticky piston down. Once that piston's down, go ahead and slap a control rod right on top of it. This will warn when the water gets too hot. And it'll cause this control rod to go up and start the fission from doing its job so it doesn't go nuclear. 
Then after you do this, you're just going to want to fill this whole thing with water. You go ahead and just use that three, uh, you know, oh. I think We're the only problem with it going clear is just, is just you need to uh, build the reactor again. Yeah, it'll just pretty much destroy your reactor. Should I go get some? Yeah, ice? go get some torches. The I guess this ice biomes aren't the best place to do stuff. All right, nonetheless, go ahead and put those away. So here's a working fission reactor right here. This will completely do everything you need it to do which is just create steam slash tp accept speaking of steam I can't freaking believe that whole download charge are you talking about the uh, controversy? Yeah, the controversy I, think, I personally think it's there's, ridiculous there's so many things to be mad about All right. it gets so overwhelming. then I don't know if most servers do this or not but you can just put steam funnels right over the top of this right over the top and what this will do is it'll channel the steam into mech pipes, which Connor, go grab me a stack of mech pipes. Are you? <sighs> I was unprepared. I thought I had everything. You brought like 30% of what you need, and the rest is just like, oh, by the way, I also need about like. Yeah, all luckily of this. I'm going to do a full list of everything you need in the description. Alright, while we're waiting on Connor, because he's taking forever, you're going to go ahead and set down your media devices. This is for the automated part of the system. Go ahead and put your Mii controller. I prefer to put my access terminal on top and my drives right next to it. Put whatever drive you're using inside. And hook some power up to that. Thank you. Oh, you're also going to need a configurator. Man, I'm messing up today. Do you hook, I need to go home? No, I got that? it on me. Uh, I need to name it later, too. Go ahead and hook up a universal cable to it. Or a copper cable, but they are nowhere near as good. Alright, then you're going to need to hook up a some sort of power source to this. I'm just using an ultimate cube just so I don't have to actually make a power source. Go ahead and throw your fissile rods in there. Alright, back to this. You're going to cover this entire surface in mech pipes. Grab your configurator. Go ahead and shift right click everything so it's red. This is the only time you're going to have to use the configurator. Which I learned the hard way because I used to configure all my mech pipes took forever then you're just gonna grab some turbines and actually here I'll do this real quick just to make it look pretty Got a one two one two this what this will do is it will duplicate the steam and so you can just have one fission reactor powering hundreds of uh, reactor turbines you're gonna place them down in three by three squares I would say circles, but it's Minecraft. You know, you, your shadow is a circle. Is it? Yep. I don't have shadows. I have I a don't. shadow. Maybe, you have to probably maybe I'm a ghost. I can see on you. So you probably I on probably me. just don't have a lot of my textures on right now. Yeah, because your computer's poop. My computer's not poop. Alright, once poop you're poop. done setting up these... Which I'm not done with. Are you gonna make them full turbines? Or? Shut up, I'm getting there. Oh. Sorry. It's not really spoilers. a spoiler, but I mean we're just not should have alerted them viewers. Alright. Pretty much once you have all your turbines up, what you're gonna wanna do is grab a wrench, go ahead, shift click in the middle. Actually shift right click. You don't even have to shift, you can just right click them. I just like to shift because I usually use the jetpack. Ooh, no, I messed up. Forgive me. Alright. Throw that right on there. Hook these up with some universal cables. Universal cables are best because they work with m almost every mod. And they also do not lose any power when they're used, unlike copper cables. Which will lose power for every one you put. You can just go ahead and hook that up to your energy source or energy storage alright oh alright whatever overshot it alright so what this will do is the fission reactor will generate steam steam will go into the mech pipes mech pipes will go into the turbines turbines will make power and go into this 
and here comes the part where you automate it. This is where you're going to need your me blue cable or me cables in general and a me export. I'm using a precision export. Uh, I think you need a precision export for this one. All right. You're just going to destroy right under here. Use normal me cables. It should automatically connect. And let's go find us my fission reactor. All right. So you just want to put it right under Actually, I don't want to interrupt that redstone stream over there, so I'm going to put it over here. And once that's gone, place your me precision export. It will go to your fission reactor. You're going to need to grab a fissile rod. Let me try and grab one. There we go. I need to grab a fissile rod. By the way, to do all this, you're going to need some sort of radiation shielding. Most times, you're just going to use a hazmat suit right here. Pretty easy to craft. But I prefer to use power armor for everything I use with radiation shielding on it. It's just cost some more iron. All right, then you're just going to hook this up straight here. You're going to right-click on your precision export. You should probably do this before the water. I just wanted to build the fission reactor first but just right click on your precision export put that right there it'll remember it this is not a way to duplicate it's just a way to let it know what it wants to go in then you're just gonna finish hooking this up boop 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 there you go but we can tell them a way to replicate um really? yeah uh you know oh uh, strange matter yeah, strange matter yeah Atomic assembler is not duplication. It's a tutorial for another day. Replicate. And the actually I'll just show you guys real quick. The rod just went inside here. You have to shift click to open it. <coughs> shift click with nothing in your inventory. This yeah. yeah. rod, exactly. the toxicity will go up. Ignore that. Temperature will go up. It should stay about 1900, especially since this thermometer is here keeping it. Steam emission, I don't know how high that usually gets, and they last 40 minutes each, which is 2,500 seconds. And, yeah. Is that really necessary? Say that? Yeah, sure. Well, the exact amount of seconds? 2,500 seconds. I think it is. If they want help building one of these, like, in-game... We uh, well, yeah, if you play on accretion servers, which is... Uh, volts dot accretion dot us I don't think that's true isn't it check for me yeah, yeah, accretion dot us which is where we play uh, this is you know we'll help you build one we'll probably even give you these supplies if you show that you're a subscriber and yeah we want, we, proof. We want proof we don't want to be scammed we ain't got infinite supplies boo boo alright so you as you can see turbines are spinning 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 Energies a build and build and build and pretty quick. These are really good for energy. You don't need to put any power into it, just these rods, which we will show on another video how to make them. Oh wow. Yeah. That cube's going up, cube's really, going up fast. really fast. It'll automatically take the rods out, so just put rods in here, the rods will automatically go in there. And you can use the me system, which we'll do a tutorial on later. Just store literally whatever you want to. Look at this. It automatically organizes it. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. So by ID, name, number of items, which direction, whether you want to show stored items, craftable items, it's your choice. And uh, give me my power fist. What? Give me it. What's that? Here it, is. Here it is. Here's your power fist. No, this is not my power fist. It's called power, it's called power give fist. Give me pushy. Give me pushy back. So you should have been more specific. All right. Um, all my weapons, except for my obsidian sword, which we'll do a tutorial on later. Oh yeah, this too. They're all unique weapons from Fallout: the Humble Cudgel, the Nuka Breaker, the Pushy. All unique weapons from Fallout New Vegas. Your armor. Too? Your armor. Too? Yeah, my armor is Tesla armor from the Enclave. My armor is just Halo. Theme. And let me set my home here slash set home, because we're gonna leave this for now and do slash back and we have another little surprise for you guys 
Ace, TP to me. Can you tell me what it's called? No, don't look at it. Just be away. Alright. Ready? That's condensed. Sure. Ready? Alright. So we're trying to do a different explosive. You should probably be a little. Oh, it's an incendiary. <laughs> incendiary. <gasps> Wait, this would be perfect for a jungle. Oh god, especially since they don't allow flint and steel. Oh, this would be so perfect for a jungle. Or one of those wood worlds. Get out of here, explosive. Those. Are, I'm trying them one more time. No, okay. You should have done. You should have. No, done it, it does. It's I one. It's just glitches. It. I'm gonna find it. Alright, well, for the end of this video, we did an incendiary bomb. We'll try and get the endothermics Incendi to work next time. Can you, can you say that correctly? Please? Incendiary. How do, you, how do you say it? How do you say. How do you, how, how do you say this word? It's a gif. Okay. I want to make sure I don't have to right. hear you. I'm gonna load up the crafting recipe for an incendiary. <sighs> so how you make this is you get a repulsive explosive, you put sulfur in a lava bucket. Repulsive explosive is two condensed explosive on top of each other. That's just two TNT with a redstone in the middle. Incendiary. Incendi Incendiary. Incendiary. Uh, Incendiary. 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 Alright, well, I apologize for the endothermics not working. We'll try and get it up for next video. Uh, goodbye, and have a nice time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Copyright music.